In this second video introduction to Visi patching, we're going to look in more detail at the different types of Visi modules. First, I'd like to quickly talk about how the Visi help system works. You may have seen some small yellow boxes with text pop up while moving your mouse around over Visi modules. This is the built-in Visi documentation. Most inlets, outlets, and UI components have help texts which tell you about their use. If you hold the mouse over the name of a module, the yellow box will contain a description of the module and its functionality. So far in Visi, we've been working with video input and output. Now I'd like to show you how to use the control inputs. Here's the patch we're going to start off with. It's got a player, a pixelator, a rotator, and a viewer. Let's add a module from the control folder called the fader. We can hook up control inlets and outlets just like we can hook up video connections, except the patch cord is a different color. Let's hook up the left hand outlet of the fader to the rotation control inlet of the rotator. We can find the rotation input of rotator by holding our mouse over each inlet and reading the hint. That's the XY offset one. This is the rotation slider one. Okay, now lock the patch. Now we can control the rotation of the image by using the fader. I'm going to unlock. The right hand outlet of fader sends the opposite of the left hand outlet. Let's hook that up to the XY offset control in rotator. Lock the patch. Now with the fader control, I can control two things at once in the rotator. But what I really want to do is I want the computer to do all the work for me. So let's add another module from the generators folder called Twiddler. Paste from Busy Clippings Gen Twiddler. The Gen modules have this name because they generate control data for the other Visi modules. Let's hook it up to Fader so that you can see what it's doing. Lock the patch. We need to start the Twiddler module with this toggle here. There are a few controls on the Twiddler module to change its settings. Have a play with them. Also have a play with hooking up multiple Twiddlers to a bunch of different modules and the same Twiddler to a bunch of different modules. You'll find you're quickly able to come up with a video system which does a lot of things by itself. Another way we have to control Visi modules is to turn their control inputs on and off. Notice if you click on the circle below a control input, you can turn it off. The effect of this is kind of glitchy and stuttering. Let's unlock the patch. I can automate the turning on and off of control inputs as well. For this we're going to use the toggler module. Let's grab it from the Gen folder. Let's hook it up to the rotation input of rotator. Lock the patch, switch it on. Now that we have two generator modules in our patch, we have two on off switches we need to hit to get them going. In fact, we have three because we have the play button in the player module as well. Let's unlock the patch. Here's a module which will let us start them all with just one mouse click. It's called the starter module and it lives in the control folder in Visi Clippings. With this module, I can start and stop my patch and resync my playbacks and controllers. The last module we're going to look at in this video is called the recorder module. 
If you want to record your processed video so you can edit it later in another app, hook up your final output to the input of the recorder module. You'll find it in the PVR folder. Final output from Rotator to the video in a recorder. Let's lock the patch. Hit the record button and you can choose a name and a location for your output file. Now it's recording. In the next and final video, we'll look at video routing and custom user interfaces.